I told you about uh, adverse drug reactions, isn't it? We all keep hearing somebody had a reaction, uh, allergy, and all those things. In medical terms, we label it as adverse drug reaction. Some of them are very straightforward, simple. They don't cause much complications. But some of them can be very severe. You know, with these complications, you know, as I was telling you, these drugs, before they come into market, whether it is tablets to be taken orally or injectables given IV, intramuscular, all of them, they undergo extensive studies. They not only study the mechanism of action, how it works, so it, they also look for any side effects or complications. But when we starting using it at a bigger scale, because each individual is different, so there can be reactions, there can be complications, there can be severe reactions which can be life-threatening. And we need to recognize them and look for help at the appropriate place. Now, commonly what people say is when they take a medicine, they have a little bit of acidity, diarrhea. These are probably, you can call it as mild side effects, which may not need much attention. But there are some reactions, you know, uh, if you look at carefully, the reactions, you can see it as something which affects the gut, something which affects the skin and etc. Something which affects the respiratory system or breathing and our blood pressure and heart, they are quite severe. And they can lead to irreversible conditions very, very quickly. We need to seek for help. You know, sometimes even a sting like a bee sting can cause a severe reaction. The medicine also, when we are hypersensitive, the body, when it sensitizes that this is not part of my body, I need to get rid of it, it reacts in a very severe way, wherein which it causes breathing difficulty as well as drop in blood pressure. They become very severe. And when it happens, we need to access medical care where emergency 24 hour support is there all the time. And when this happens, I'm, I'll show you, most of the hospitals have some protocol in place to ensure that they give a proper treatment. And now, with the PVPI, our Pharmacovigilance Program of India, we have a mechanism in which when it happens, you get the treatment and there is an established clinical pharmacy department which will analyze it in detail and report it to the authorities, the government program, so that if it happens anywhere in India, anywhere in the world, so there is a data to see is that the cause or is there something else which caused it and in the way that action can be taken to either modify the way the drug is, uh, is given or stop using it at all. So, or take rectifying actions. So, all this can happen only with your help. Please participate. If you are a, a general public, be aware of this, where to look for help. If you are a doctor working in a hospital or anywhere else, pharmacovigilance has to be your part of your everyday practice. Do report it to the right people. Let's come together, act together, and make healthcare safer. Let's make primum nocera our primary objective. No harm with medicines. And drug safety, our everyday quality. Thank you.